Assalamu alaikum. Hello friends. How are you? Today I'm going to start a new series on app 5M server. Today I'm going to tell you how you can create a local server. In the next video, we will discuss about how we can add the database in the local server. And uh, after that, how we can add uh, new scripts in your 5M server. And at the end, I'll tell you how you can put your server to the VPS and uh, make it available for the online players. So let's get started. First, you have to go to the 5M.net. Here you have to click on the create your own server. Now host your own server. Now you have to scroll down and here you have to download and install the Visual C++. I already have this. It's not installed by default. So you have to install it. Click on it and download. <coughs> save it i already installed it so i don't have to install it again now you have to click on the artifact server right click open a new tab click on the latest and recommend it it's gonna take some time to download now go to your file explorer go to that drive where you wanna create the server okay so i'm creating this server in this folder you have to create a fx server folder open it up and now make a new folder name artifacts get into it now you have to go to your browser and uh, get your server artifacts double click on it open it up Open your, your artifacts folder, control A, select all the data and drag it to the artifacts folder. It's going to take some time to copy all the files. Okay, so when it's completed, scroll down, here's the FX server, double click on it, it's gonna start, and it's gonna redirect you here, it's gonna appear here automatically. So now, uh, click on the link account, now continue. So here you have to make a password, write down a password. Now save it. Okay, so now we have to click on the next. Change We have to select the name. It's up to you. Make any name. I'm going to make it... Uh, Titan. Next. Now here we have to select the template. Now select the popular templates. We are going to make a CFX server. So select the CFX default. Okay, so this is the location where we save our database and uh, servers artifacts. So, save it. We don't need to change it. Now, click on Go to Recipe Deployer. Now, click on the Next. Here, we have to add the license key. Click on the Key Master. So you have to click on the register, display name, 
Titan. Here you have to add your IP address. Go to a new tab right here. My IP address. Here's your IP address. You have to select and copy. Paste it here. Pick a type server type. Other home hosted. Which server provider are you using? Right here, home hosted. generate the key will be showing you here if it's disappear so don't worry and show you it's also showing you your key here okay. so you have to copy it go back to the it's admin page paste your key run recipe it's gonna take some time to complete all these things here's your resource folder it will done now click on next save and run the server when you see this cfxre it means your server will be ready and start now we are going to install the B menu because first time when we create a server there is nothing so before we get into it and uh, make the changes we have to add the V menu because V menu is uh, very important in the developing of the server so let's download the V menu right here v menu fiber it's the latest so click on it it's a latest version click on the v menu zip and it's gonna download open it up now we have to go back to the our resource folder click on the resources right click folder named B menu open it up select all and paste it here okay, so now we have to go to the config open up the permissions it's on 167 line number 167 so it's appear here so it's uh, allow the v menu to everyone okay so i'm going to delete that hash so it means it will allow v menu to every everyone because it's a local server so we need the v menu now file and save close this now we have to go back to the resource folder here the server dot click on server dot cfg now we have to add a line x e c space resources slash v menu slash config slash permissions dot cfg cfg so this is the exact uh, place of the v menus permissions see resource v menu config permission dot cfg so press enter 
now ensure or start for the v menu ensure ensure v menu now save it and your server will be ready to go go to the tx admin and restart your server <coughs> so server will be restart and also it's uh, giving you a warning because uh, we just allow the v menu to everyone so it's gonna start it now we have to check the server now click on 5m double click on the 5m it's gonna start so now here is our local host server click on the desktop it's showing you like this we are on the loading screen but uh, we didn't add any loading screen so there's only the logs that will appear Okay, so when your server is start, it looks like this. So now we will check the V menu. Press M. It's a default button for the V menu. Unlocked. So in the next video, I'll show you how you can add your database in the server, and after that, we will add all the resources, all the files in the server local server okay so this is today's video and uh, if you have any question about the server just uh, dm me on my discord and uh, thanks for watching like this video subscribe my channel allah Hafiz.